Yo, it's Go, and welcome to the video. If your gear is looking something like this because you just dinged level 80, then this is the video for you. If you're fully decked out, then leave a helpful hint on something that you would suggest a brand new fresh level 80 would aim at getting ASAP. If you are a fresh 80, this is going to be your favorite room to visit. As a Horde player, Alliance has their own room in Dalaran across the map. But since I'm Horde, I'm showing you guys the Horde vendors. Plenty of different emblems now. So I'm going to go vendor by vendor on what you should be spending your emblems on as you're gearing up. Starting with the Emblem of Heroism vendor. All of this gear is 200 eye level and we want to be getting to at least 210 ASAP so that we can get into gamma dungeons. So I'm not really interested in spending any of these emblems on any of the loot. Instead, however, if you skip to the last page and the page before the last one, I would just spend my emblems for gems for when I do get better gear. If you have loads of emblems of heroism you already set on your gems and you do need to get, try to get like a piece or two. The only thing I would suggest is getting the plush sass of Guzba for 40 emblems, the sundial of the exiled for 40 emblems, a nice trinket, or the hit offhand ward of the violet citadel. But yeah, there's also hit on the belt, which would be one of the main reasons to get this belt. That's really it from this vendor. You can get emblems of heroism from doing quests. So if you're locked out on everything and you're still looking to Try to get an early upgrade after you've hit 80 then get those quest done that reward you with these emblems and you can maybe fill in a couple slots of your gear. Next to the Emblem of Heroism vendor, we have the Emblem of Valor. Pretty much the same thing as the Emblem of Heroism vendor. You're not going to be getting too many Emblems of Valor at this point. Any of those that you do, I would just trade them down again to get epic gems. The only item I would suggest getting is getting a nice idol to start you off with. The idol of the shooting star increase the spell power of your starfire by 165 only 25 emblems pretty cheap so that your idol slot doesn't bring down your average eye level all the other gear nothing really fancy everything either has mp5 or spirit on it which spirit's not going to help you too much so really just bring these down to heroism get your gems the next tier of emblems is emblem of conquest this is just slightly better than the previous two emblems Kind of like a combination of both, but you're getting a little eye level boost finally. So like 232 eye level, lots of spirit gear. Mainly I would be dropping these down to Valor and then to Heroism for more epic gems. If you're somehow floating with loads of these emblems, then you could fill in your pieces of gear, but it's going to be all spirit gear, which feels kind of bad. Maybe you could get the like a two piece of the tier from back then, but these are probably going to be dropping in the heroics that you're running. Gamma Dungeons, Alpha, Beta. But you shouldn't really have to be buying any of the tier gear from this off of the vendor. Up to the Triumph vendor. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Eventually you'll want the Idol of Lunar Fury. But before that, I would get two piece of your tier. Which this vendor here isn't going to sell you. So you need to go to the Argent Tournament Ground in Ice Crown. And bring with you two items from the Scorchstone vendor. You'll get two of these trophies of the Crusade. Eventually, probably, maybe four. Just depends on how fast you're gearing up. Minimum two. So 40 Defiler Scorch Stones. And then you want to have 150 of these Emblems of Triumph so you can get two-piece Tier 9. Let me head out to that vendor and I'll show you which two to get. Alright, I'm up here at the vendor the Tournament Grounds. And since I'm Horde again, I'll be talking to this vendor. I'm looking for the Helm and the Chest. 75 each, one trophy each. 150 Emblems. And we're looking for... The one with the two set bonus, your Moonfire ability now has a chance for its periodic damage to be critical strikes. So the top left piece of the three pieces, so it works out for the chest too, is the top left chest piece. And both of those, two, four, five, eye level. That's really it from the emblem vendor for Triumph. Let me get back up there. Yeah, after you get those two piece, you could get the Idol of Lunar Fury that ties you over until you get your Game Biss Idol with Emblems of Frost. But we'll get to that in a minute. If again you're floating in Emblems of Triumph, this is a decent trinket to get to tide you over until you get flare and reign of the dead which we'll also get to in just a minute but that's really it for emblems of triumph i mean you could continue on to get your four piece if it's taking you a while to get emblems of frost which i don't think it will at this point so i'll leave it at that for this one on to the emblems of frost you'll want to get two piece tier 10 asap which is why you bought the more expensive two piece tier 9 pieces. I guess that's not technically on this vendor, so let me go to ICC and show you that vendor. While I'm outside of the entrance here to ICC, this vendor I'm looking for is probably in Dalaran. I just 
I, I always go out here. There's other vendors in here that I'm pretty sure aren't in Dalaran. But if they are all in Dalaran, that's awkward and sorry. But there's a macro that you can put on your bar as a keybind and then spam it to get in by yourself. So you're not having to try to like group up with anybody from your guild, any friends, nothing like that. You don't have to bother anybody. Put this macro in your bar and get in just by yourself. It's not going to port you anywhere or nothing like that. You can get in, talk to your vendors, and get on out. We're in here by myself, and that macro will be linked down below. But it looks like this. Slash run, invite unit, A, B, timer, all this stuff. Yeah, just put that on there, spam it, run in. Might not get it the first time if you're not used to doing it. So just run out, run far away, run back, try to go back in. I don't know if this is different for Alliance. I've never been in here on Alliance, but for Horde, our vendor is off on to the right. And we're going to be wanting to look for the two pieces that are 60 emblems each. So gloves and shoulders. So our gloves, you want to look for the piece that has the two set. When you gain clear casting from your Omen of Clarity talent, you deal 15% additional nature and arcane damage. 251 eye level. And if you've got this two piece and your two piece tier nine, you'll have a nice combination of tier pieces. So 120 emblems of frost will get you your two piece, two piece. So after you've got that, you've your setup, you've got your tier pieces, you can save the rest of your emblems of frost to get two of the 95 emblem each pieces to replace your two piece tier nine. Or if your other gear is still kind of lacking behind, you can spend your emblems of frost on these other few little items. You've got your idol of the lunar eclipse, it's a minor upgrade. So I wouldn't stress too much about this as long as you've got the previous tier idol, the moonfire dot one. But there's also some belts on here. So belt of omission if you need hit, really solid belt, 60 emblems though. And then if you don't need any hit for your belt slot, then belt of petrified ivy. And that's going to do it for the emblem of frost vendor. The other two vendors in here to mention is the sidereal essence vendor. You've been doing some betas before you got your eye level up to be able to do gammas. And you're getting some of these. There's the really solid nebula band for only 19. Weapons are pretty hard to come by early on. There's not really any good BOEs. So a solid 245 weapon is a suga for 38. Other than that... All you have to worry about from that vendor is those two pieces. The vendor you'll be going to the most is this Scourgestone Exchange vendor. Like I had mentioned before, you're going to be getting at least two of these trophies of the Crusade here for 20 each. Dark Essence Bindings for 30. Solid Hit Bracers. A nice offhand because offhands like the main hands are hard to really get a BOE version. Talisman of Heedless Sins. 50 hit right there for you. 30 more stones. In the last piece for 30 would be the Cry of the Valkyr. There's other pieces, yes, but they're not that great. These are the three biggest items that cost 30 Scourge Stones. Do I prio these first? No. I would get like the Trinkets first, Flare and Reign of the Dead. Reign of the Dead is going to get you 30 stones. Flare is a lot more expensive at 60. So I would get the, the faster one first, Reign of the Dead, and then grab Flare after that. Loads of more loot to talk about here. Even on this page, we've got Conductive Seal. There's other rings, so this ring isn't the best. Costs lots of Scourge Stones. Keep your eye on it, though, but not, not one of like the first five, six pieces I would be getting from here. Cloaks, on the other hand, there's a nice 252 Drape of Mortal Downfall. 60 Scourge Stones. There's other cloaks that I haven't talked about yet either, so this one... A little bit on the back burner. Nice neck pendant of fiery havoc. I have had this on both of my druids. Just replaced it recently on my main. So solid neck piece here. Main hand. If you're struggling on getting main hands, get this one pretty early into your scorch stones spending. Stuff brings in two, four, five. Really nice main hand. And two pieces that are kind of in the middle with 38 scorch stone cost. Belt of biting cold. The hit belt. And right next to it, boots of the icy flow. The uh, hit boots. One last piece to talk about, Barb of Tara-esque. If you need the hit, you're struggling on hit, you can grab this one instead of Suffering's End. No problem. On to the last vendors, which they're kind of spread apart. I'll try to show you those the best I can. For the Horde, these Honor vendors for PvP vendors, whatever, are right up above the main village there. With the Auction House, Bank, all that stuff. In Valley of the Strength. Go inside, talk to Adorus, and you've got some Wrathful Gladiators pieces to check out. The bracers are the cheapest, 24,822. The only real option here is the crit bell power bracers that are 264 eye level. There's some cloaks that you could go for. 60 hit on this cloak. 
Cloak of Ascendancy. The other one I would look at is the Haste Cloak. But these are bumped up to 29,862 honor, which the rest of the pieces will also be that amount. There's one ring to check out, Wrathful Gladiators, Band of Dominance, Crit, Spell Power on this one. And then there's like every version of Neck that you could possibly want. There's a Crit one, a Haste one, go for the Haste. Unless you need the Hit, then there's a Hit Neck on the next page for 60 Hit Rating. So if you were to get the Neck, the Ring, the Cloak, and the Bracers, you're looking at just over 114,000 Honor. Sounds like a lot, but here's a way to check to see if you can knock a couple thousand honor off of that grand total. Across my three tunes, I've got 1,225 Stonekeeper shards, but you're getting four from each boss in your Gamma Dungeons. I assume it's the same for Alpha, Beta, and even Normal Heroics. So they add up pretty fast. And you can spend those for accommodations at Wintergrass. There's a vendor out there that trades 30 Stonekeeper shards for one accommodation, and the accommodation gives 2,000 honor, which is account bound. You can buy these, mail them to your fresh level 80 from any of your tunes, and give yourself some honor to start fresh at level 80 with. Winter Grasp still giving loads of honor for winning or losing, so get into those Winter Grasp every three hours. And then there's one more vendor to show you for a couple extra pieces of PvP gear. So there's two options for Horde and Alliance to get to this vendor, and it's either going to Gagatsan in Tenaris or going to Area 52 in Netherstorm. It's a little bit easier for me to get to Gagatsan. I just teleported to the Caverns of Time from Dalaran and then ran my way on up. The vendor you're looking for is Brass Tumbler. You click on it, you gotta scroll through quite a ways to get to the Furious gear, and then you'll find the gear that is just costing honor points and you can buy the furious gladiators spellblade for 13,000 honor which is pretty cheap pretty good deal 238 item level crit spell power you got a socket on there there's some 5600 off hands from here too personally i'd go for this crit one but back to dalaran for one last vendor okay i lied that same vendor could give you the same offhand. this one's got the three deadly as well. I was hoping that there was a higher eye level offhand, but those just disappeared. So if you know where that furious offhand is, or an offhand from PvP honor points only that's higher than 213, let everybody know. And the last thing to talk about are a couple of BOEs that might have your interest. All right, it is 2.30 in the morning, uh, Saturday night on October 22nd. These prices are going to vary depending what day, what time, what server. Just to get a rough idea of what these prices are, I'm sure they're all going to go down from what I'm looking at now, but let's take a look. First one we've got is Leggings of Woven Death. 13,500 gold. These are BOE cloth legs that are craftable. Grit haste, three sockets, 264 eye level. It costs eight primordial serenites, so as those start to dip down in price, this price is going to go down as well. I saw it earlier for 11500 so it's gone up since 11 o'clock when I first looked. So even these probably pretty high right now. I expect them to be below 10 k within a week or two. But yeah, since I'm going for leggings as my off piece from tier, these are really, really good. Another piece that is 264 eye level, BOE, are these hit boots, death frost boots. These haven't dropped in price since I checked them out earlier. 8500 gold drafted from tailoring yet again. We, we want haste gear, but you know, as you're gearing up, crit's going to be totally fine. 64 hit, pretty nice. Bejeweled Wizards Bracers. These have gone well up too. 3,500 gold, they were 1,900 earlier. So check out all these pieces of gear. Different days of the week, different times of the week. Maybe you've got an add-on that tells you what the price should be. Yeah, knowing what I know from earlier, I know that these are way overpriced. But anyways, crit haste, one socket, 245 eye level. I'm still wearing these right now i think actually yeah so fairly cheap bracers and they're gonna last you quite a while if you've got a little bit of extra gold and you need some hit these were 20k earlier and they're jumped up to 39,000. this is insane like three and a half hour difference makes in the price of all this gear the ladies brittle bracers hit crit a socket on them 264 i love for the cloak if you don't have enough honor for the pvp cloak you've got some extra gold lying around 5500 gold will get you a hit haste 245 eye level cloak shroud of displacement i threw these on here because they were pretty cheap 1800 gold for some 245 eye level bracers crit spirit and one yellow socket but 
definitely go for the Bejeweled Wizards Bracers over these if you can. And the last one and most expensive one is not even available right now, Blood Queen's Crimson Choker. It was 69,000 gold earlier when I checked for these prices. But it's a necklace that I'm currently wearing and plan on wearing for maybe a couple months. Really expensive, but gonna last you for a while. The 277 version is like game this. Being 13 eye levels below the best in slot, I'm okay with that. And not really a BOE, but it's right here in Dalaran, across the street from the auction house, is your ring vendor. You'll have to spend, as long as you're exalted, 6800 for your base ring, spend another 1000 to upgrade it, and then another 1000 to get your 251 eye level ring, which will be the rune signet of the Kirin Tour. So while you're gaining all your emblems, your scourge stones, you can pair this ring with your nebula band and be totally fine. Or if you're somehow able to get into rep runs, you can just grind out your Ashen Band and not have to worry about it. I've still got the 225 version, and I still use it to teleport around when my Hearthstone's on cooldown. So I don't really have a reason to continue to upgrade it, but I did back in the day. So instead of buying Nebula and then trying to get Conductive Seal, you can just spend some gold and get this ring. But to summarize, as soon as you hit level 80, buy your PvP gear, buy your BOEs, Get that ring from Dalaran if you need. If after that, your eye level is still below 200, which I think is what you need for all of the Gamma, Beta, Alpha dungeons. I don't know if Gamma has a higher requirement. I've heard 210, I've heard 212. But if you haven't reached that threshold yet, do those quests, do the weekly raid quest, get into VOA spec runs, 10 and 25. Try to do that weekly raid quest, which could be like Malagos, Sartharian, maybe even like the boss of Naxxramas. You for Winter Grasp every three hours. You should be able to buy a PvP piece every other Winter Grasp. And right now you can do the Headless Horseman every single day and have a chance at a decent ring and get some extra emblems of frost. I know this was a long one. You made it this far. Thanks for sticking it through. And good luck on gearing up.